Um, yeah, so that, that's my mixture. I actually made that oh, about eight o'clock this morning. It's just been sitting in the fridge. And I've just got my wonton wrappers. Now, what it actually says in the recipe when you step through, um, the, well, actually, that, that, that's, that's what they're going to end up looking like with any luck, all right? So I think they look pretty good. So what, what you just do is you put in a teaspoonful of your mixture into one of the wrappers, like that. You just, in the recipe that I used, you use um, an egg yolk in the filling and you're left with the egg white. Now, um, people that know me will know that I am very much a zero waste person, so I'm very happy with that. Um, and you basically brush all sides of your wonton wrapper, put your filling in, brush all sides, and then fold it over. Fold it over, just squidge that bit in or out, whichever way it wants to go. Um, and just make sure that you've got it fold, you know, pushed down all the way around there so your filling's not going to come out. Okay, then what I do, just because this is the way that I, I like to do it, is I turn it away from me like that. Oh, hang on, I've forgotten the next bit. You just got to, because you want these ends to stick, you just put a little bit of the egg white on there and literally all you're doing is pushing away from you and that makes a nice little wonton. Yeah. So it's pretty easy. So I'll do a few oh, more yeah. so you can have a have a look. So oh, filling in Eight. first. <laughs> look like a jelly into a cleaning. Just paint the sides. So is that how Alison makes them? That. Um, you never take any notice. Then. Push the, push the edges down again. And then, yeah, I just turn it round. I probably should just fold it the other way. That'd be easier, wouldn't it? Wouldn't have to turn. Then a little bit on this end, a little bit on that end underneath. And literally just folding over like that. Look quite professional, don't they? And I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm not... I'm not a super professional, but I think I can, think I can fold a wonton now. That's just through a bit of practice. But um, that's that. So I'll just do a few more so you can see. If anyone's got any questions, just um, let me know. There is a chat box or you can come off mute and you can ask me. Okay, so again, I'm just brushing the sides. So that's my egg white. Now let's... Let's do this the right way. I'll fold it towards me, then I won't have to turn the thing around. Push the edges together. Then a little bit more egg white on here and the underside of that one. And then all I'm doing is pushing those bits together and just holding them like that. Okay, do a couple more. I've got a whole lot of filling here. And I've got to do them anyway. So, um, so if any of you, um, actually, Teresa, I'm recording, you'll be pleased to know. You've been a very good girl. <laughs> um, if any of you want the recording afterwards so you can watch it when you're going to make your own wontons, just put, just put in the chat box that you'd like the recording. And I'm more than happy. Oh, I need to make sure I've... When you when you logged in, did you have to put your email? Oh, what's happened there? Oh, sorry. That's my daughter trying to call me. Um, forgot to put it on airplane mode. Um, yeah. So when you logged in, did you have to give your put your email address in? Yeah, perfect. All right. So pop in the chat box if you would like the recording, and I'm more than happy to send it to you. And uh, where's chat box? Okay, down the bottom. Down the bottom of your screen, there's a little thing called chat. Actually, there's a few chats in there. Oh, yep, yep. All right. Yep, thank That's you. Great. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so I'm more than, more than happy to send it to you. So, but literally, I'm just going to keep going with these. So I'm pushing away from me, and I'm just going to fold those over like that. Just a couple more. Um, and if you... Do use the recipe that I um, am using, which is just called wonton soup. 
um, cookie do. What it says when it comes to the steaming of them, you're, you're steaming it sort of over a, a broth. Um, it says it adds water and it, it um, and then you put it on for 15 minutes before you add your wontons. Okay, but what I would suggest to you, and I forgot, I went the wrong way. Um, what I would suggest to you is that you don't do that, that you actually put boiling water in and that will, um, and then I would let it, let it go for five minutes and then I would, um, so I'll, I'll find the step in a minute and show you. All right, so again, just folding over and crossing over there. All right, let me um, just get my hands a bit cleaner. Right, so I'm just going to bring you up closer to the screen here. Um, find the recipe, put it in my week for today. So this is the one I, I've been doing, the, uh, I'm doing the wonton soup. Uh, and by the way, I, the only reason I moved my thermomix like that was because it is sitting on something. I would never let it just push it across the, the bench. Wonton soup. Because it's not good for your scales. All right, so start cooking. Um, so this is what this is the filling. So it was one garlic clove, uh, ginger, spring onion, long red chili, coriander leaves, lid on, three seconds, speed seven. Scrape down the sides. Just doing the same thing again to chop it up a little bit finer. Then you add your mince. As I said, I actually used um, chicken mince and I did actually add a little bit more chicken mince than it said, but um, totally up to you, whatever you want to do. And the prawns. My prawns were a little light on, so I made up for it with the chicken mince. Lid on. Then you would never do this without the measuring cup in. We can't say that bit, but um, yeah, we're going to, it wants you to turbo, all right? So you just literally turn and it will chop. Then that's when we now add that egg yolk and we've got our egg white here. That's what I'm using to um, seal the wontons. Soy sauce, sesame oil, rice wine vinegar, lid on. One second just to mix it all in. That's it. And then you transfer it into a bowl, which is exactly what I've done. So then it's saying grease the varoma dish with some peanut oil and set aside. Uh, and then, then it's telling you how to fold the, the wontons. Um, so it just says put a heat mixture into the middle, what we're doing, brushing the edges with the egg whites and fold the wonton wrapper in half diagonally, forming a triangle. Fold the wonton, oh, oh hang on guys, before we open, we've done that. Using your finger to seal all edges and gently pull the two remaining corners together, it says over the enclosed filling. Now I, I don't find that's very um, clear, so just to do one more so you can see. Um, I do it very much like this. I push the, I push it away from me. So just do these like that. I remember to fold it towards me this time. Squash down the edges like that. On there, underneath there. And then I push it away like that. Okay, so I so I think over the filling is a little bit well, it doesn't quite make sense to me. I push it away. All right, I've got dirty hands again. Move this back in. Come back to the screen. All right. So repeat with the remaining wonton wrappers. Place them into the varoma dish and the varoma tray. And then it's asking you to um, prepare some shiitake mushrooms. I did those earlier um, and cover them with boiling water and set aside for 30 minutes. So if you're doing this recipe, do that before you get to this stage because you're going to take a little bit of time folding your wontons um, and you might as well not waste time and just have that happening at the same time. Then you're going to put, I will actually do this because I'm going to cook these afterwards. Two garlic cloves. I've got a super huge garlic clove, so I'm going to stick that in. I've got my ginger. My son and I are very big on ginger. My husband's not quite so, but he's he's not here at lunchtime. So we we can get away with it. A spring onions. Popping the lid on. Three seconds. Speed seven. 
that is noisy. Mm -hmm. If you've all got them, I'm sure you know what that's going to look like, but that's pretty good chop. See, three seconds. Chop. Yeah, One tablespoon of peanut oil. Thin. That's going to cook for two minutes. I'm not going to do it because you guys don't need to sit around for two minutes and watch watch that happen. Although I will I, can, I will follow some more long term wrappers before we finish. Um, so but what I want to show you here, it says add 1100 grams of water. So this is going to be the stock for your or part of it. We're going to use chicken stock paste as well um, for your soup. But what this is what I would then suggest. So we've got the 1100 grams of water and one tablespoon of chicken stock one teaspoon of fish sauce, one teaspoon of sesame oil, lid on. Then it says 15 minutes. So all it's doing is actually heating the water in that time. So that's why I think um, I'm going to put boiling water in. With the 1100 grams of it, boiling water, I'm going to change that down to five minutes. And then I'm going to let it go. And then after that, I'm going to put the baroma um, in position put the lid on and I'm going to steam for 12 minutes. What that just does is it just gives you back 10 minutes of your time and 10 minutes less um, time making of the soup. You'll find that in, in a few of the recipes, it will actually say, um, uh, it will actually maybe have 10 minutes of actually heating water or something before it really gets going. It, you must remember that cold water to get to boiling in your thermomix can be eight to 10 minutes. So I often do a little bit of a shortcut yeah, and, um, by putting boiling water in. All right, just make a couple more of these. Um, and just so you know, this time next week, I know there's lots of people doing different things and it's all being posted up there on Thermomix in Australia, which is fantastic. And I love the fact that we can do that at the moment with this virtual environment. Well, ongoing. It's not gonna, it's not gonna change. Um, we will always be doing some Thermomix stuff virtually. So that's, that's really cool and great, great for all of us. Um, so this time next week, I'm gonna do something with um, low carb, healthy fat, and I'm going to make the skinny mixes, it is on cookie do, uh, the skinny mixes, um, chicken Kievs, um, which I was always, like everyone said, oh, they're amazing, but I was always scared to make, which is really silly, because they're so easy. But I'm gonna make those and just show a couple of other low carb, healthy fat options as well. So I'm just gonna push this over and just fold like that. All right, so just look out for that. I will post that next, um, I'll be in my Thermix in my group, my Facebook group anyway, for those of you who are in there already. And um, uh, and otherwise it will be up on the Thermix um, uh, website, uh, you know, like, sorry, on, on their Facebook post that goes up on a Wednesday. I'm just gonna answer some questions now because I can see there's a couple there. Um, Okay, so yes, absolutely steaming them. Well, so, yeah, yeah, you can, Teresa. So they are gonna um, put, yeah, they're gonna be steaming in the baroma over the broth, um, but you can steam them any other way. Um, all right, did I make my own wontons? I did not, no. There is a recipe on cookie do. Um, there are some things that I make, lots of things I make, heaps of things I make, but there are some things I don't, and um, I don't make wonton wrappers. Uh, how many does it make in one batch? It does say um, it makes about 20, but what have, I, what have I got here? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight, and I've still got all that left. So it's easily going to make 20. I reckon it could make a few more than that. All right. So has anyone got any other questions? And remember, if you would like the recording so you can watch the folding, um, pop your name in the chat and I will uh, send it to you. But if no one else has got any questions, um, thank you so much for Zooming in. Very happy to have you in my kitchen. As I said, if you're happy to come ne again next week, just look out for the posts in, um, on the Thermix uh, website, um, Facebook page, I'll get it right. Uh, and um, look forward to seeing you then. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Pleasure. Thanks, Andy. Bye. Bye.